Hi guys, welcome back to Thursday's tool review channel. Sorry I didn't post a video up last Thursday. Um, I didn't have a video because uh, I was doing testing. I have to do testing for work and that's been taking up a lot of my time on the computer. Um, anytime I'm around a computer, I don't have time to edit, so I've just been doing testing. So, basically, this is going to be my tool review. Um, I bought this uh, Milwaukee M18 uh, Impact. It's a half inch drive impact with this button. I don't know what you call it. Dimpler, dimple button, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I bought this on offer up. Um, it came with the charger, a battery, a five amp hour battery, and this. So I got it for 120 bucks. It's brushless. It's the fuel brushless. Um, yeah, it's got three different settings. So I've already been playing with this compared to my my DeWalt. So, this obviously is a lot bigger, as you can see, comparison, a lot bigger than this half-inch drive one. Um, I bought this one at the swap meet. If I remember right, I paid 30 bucks for it. Um, anyway, it's still, see, if I remember right, this was a 5 amp hour battery. Um... I can't really see anything on it. But anyway, if I remember right, I bought two 5 amp, 5 amp hour batteries when I bought my grinder. So, as you can see, big difference in height, in width, everything. Uh, my flatbed trailer that's back there. My little car trailer, whatever you want to call it. Can't really see it because the window's dirty. I had some lug nuts on there that I tried getting off with my 3 8 inch. This one I did buy brand new. Um, I tried getting them off with that. It didn't budge. And then when I got this one, um, it still didn't budge. So, I picked this one up from the dude. He had a full battery charge. <clears throat> I had it on two, which is speed setting two, I guess you can call it. So you got one, two, three. Anyway, I had it on two. Battery was fully charged. As you can see. Anyway, and I went back there and I did a comparison. This one versus that one. And it zipped the lug nuts off like nothing this one did. And this one st struggled a lot. So I can't remember the torque rating on this one. I want to say it's 400 foot pounds of, or 412 foot pounds of loosening. And this one is, I believe, 700 because this is a mid torque impact wrench. I don't know if you can read that or not. Let's see. Let me just get it in the picture. Anyway, um, but yeah. Buying that, I think I'm going to go Milwaukee. Um, I'm going to start trying to purchase Milwaukee tools. I'll probably keep my big batteries. I'll probably end up selling the half inch, three eighths inch drive, some drills, the impact driver, and uh, keeping the big batteries for my grinder. Um, as you can see, I have a drill and an impact driver of the M12 um, and uh, of the fuel 12 volt and they seem to work pretty good I haven't had any issues um, this is my favorite tool I think that I own is my little electric ratchet I use that tool all the time but anyway you guys probably saw that video if you haven't seen the video of the review of that um, go down to my tools in my playlist and you can watch that video so anyway I bought this and I was like this thing's awesome so I went on to the eBay and I purchased uh, the big one 
the 1400 foot pound nut busting torque um, and it came with two six amp batteries and the, the one I bought on eBay is brand new brand new batteries so um, this is pretty cool because it comes you can charge these batteries and you can charge these batteries on one charger so I'll have to I'll probably get rid of that charger take it out of my drawer and uh, yeah put that charger in there um, but yeah so that's the tool review um, it's, it is very 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 heavy it is a really heavy compared to this one um, I want to say this one's probably about five to eight pounds and this one's probably ten to 10 to 12 to 13 pounds with the 5 amp battery um, it's pretty heavy so I remember my brother my brother has the big one and it's the same one that I just ordered and that thing is really heavy um, and he had I think either a 9 amp battery or a 12 amp battery and I think that thing weighs like 30 something pounds uh, but anyway uh, that's going to be it for this tool review I gotta say, if you're in the market for cordless drills and stuff and you can afford it, definitely buy the Milwaukee. I had the older Milwaukee set of uh, drill, impact driver, circular saw, um, and uh, some other tools. But they were the old 18 volt nickel cadmium NICAD batteries. And I was going through batteries left and right on that I mean I was I was because they had a two-year warranty if I remember right two-year warranty on those batteries I was sending them batteries like every three months um, send them battery send it back send a battery send me a new one um, it kind of was a pain in the butt and then I ended up just selling it so um, but my brother's had really good fortune with the batteries um, he's I think he still has a bunch of smaller batteries and I might ask him if he can send me some batteries uh, that he doesn't use because I know he uses a, I want to say he used the 6, 9, and 12 amp batteries only. So he probably has some 3 amp batteries. Um, but I might not need those because I'll have 3 batteries. I'll have a, a 5 and two, 2 6 amp batteries. So also, yeah, that's what I also bought the bigger batteries for is I have a circular saw DeWalt. Um, I'll, obviously, I'll keep my circular saw, the grinder, angle grinder, whatever you want to call it, and uh, some bigger batteries, and I'll probably get rid of these uh, the wall tools. So, definitely, definitely, if you can afford it, purchase this. This is very high quality. Milwaukee's always been high quality. Um, uh, I've watched a couple videos on YouTube of who makes what tools and if I remember right I want to say Milwaukee also makes um, I can't remember if it was rigid or if it was Ryobi or if it was both I don't remember but anyway there's a there's videos out there you just type in who makes who or who makes what tools and check that out it's pretty interesting um, basically it's who owns the company so it's technically not who makes so like Ryobi doesn't make these it's if Ryobi and Milwaukee they're both owned by the same company if, if that makes sense so anyway guys that's going to be it that's going to be the tool review for Thursday um, thank you guys for watching um, I don't know if I'll be doing a tool review for next Thursday because I'll be going to Illinois for work um, I have to go do some classes so, all right, guys, give me a like, subscribe, comment below, tell me what you guys think. If you guys know a better tool, if you guys like the DeWalt better. Now, keep in mind, there are different DeWalts. There are bigger ones. This is a compact half-inch drive. There is probably a mid and a high torque, just like the DeWalt our Milwaukee's. But I don't own those, so I can't compare those. So, all right, guys, later.